guys, welcome to Home Sweet Homeschool. If you're new here, my name is Ashley and I'm a homeschooling mom to one. And in today's video, we're gonna talk all about our math picks for the 2023-2024 homeschool year. This video is in collaboration with other homeschool mamas who are gonna share their math picks and it's hosted by Davine at Calm in the Chaos Homeschool and Shauna at Homegrown Homeschool. So if you're looking for math next year or you just wanna see what everyone's using, you definitely wanna check out the playlist that'll be linked down in the description box. So let's jump right into it. Let's talk about math. If you don't know anything about us, my son is 14, he'll be 15 and um, coming up next year and he will be in the ninth grade. And so we're moving into those high school years and we are so excited. We're really looking forward to it. Now his math is something that we have been using for the past couple of years. I'm actually gonna put a video down in the description box all about Learn Math Fast. That is the math that we discovered after trying so many things. We went through master books, we went through teaching textbooks, we tried uh, the good, Simply Good and Beautiful. We have tried everything. And one night I was just researching all kinds of math out there and I came across Learn Math Fast. And so I'll definitely link their website. You can go read about how it got started. But a homeschool mom created it for her child and it just made perfect sense to me. I'm like, this is what's gonna work for my son. I know it is. We started at the very beginning and we have just kept going. So this past year, this year, or not past year, the year that we're in right now, he actually finished up pre-algebra. We took it very slow. We would take a lesson and spread it two to three days to make sure that he really got the concept. And while it was hard for him and it was a challenge for him because he'd never done that before, we really do enjoy Learn Math Fast. It is no muss, no fuss. There's no color, there's no pictures. Nothing like that, it's all black and white, but it's written in a conversational tone and it's very easy to understand and it made it easy for me to teach him. I know a lot of times parents worry about teaching those higher levels of math. And for me, I was worried about that. I can do math, but can I teach it to somebody else? And so it made it so easy for me because the way it is written to be able to work it out with him. Another thing I really like about it is in the back of the book, they provide the answers, but they work them out. So you can see, you know, exactly. So you can see, sorry, I messed that up. So you can see exactly where your child messed up. It's not just the answer. It will show you the problem actually worked out. And I really appreciate that. So next year, we're going to be using Learn Math Fast. This is the algebra volume. So this is volume five. They also have geometry and they have algebra two. So we're going to do Algebra one, that's what our plan is. And I believe it has like 36 lessons, but that doesn't mean that we're just gonna rush through them and be done in no time. My plan is to really take our time with this and make sure he understands because that's so important. I don't wanna rush through with it and be done in 36 days. That's not what it means. Take your time with the lessons, work through them. One thing I love to do for him is we'll do the lesson and then we'll do like, some problems together and then I'll give him just some of the problems to do on his own and then the next day we review if he needs it and then he works the other half of the problems and that really worked for him with pre-algebra and I hope it's going to work with him for algebra one. I think it really will. When you get the Learn Math Fast system, you will get a password to go to their website and you can actually print every one of the worksheets that are inside of this book if you don't want your child to write in them. You can go and print them and that's what I do. And I just put them in a binder, all the worksheets that he needs and I put uh, graph paper or lined notebook paper because when you're doing algebra, you need space to write all of that out. And so that's what I do. And you can also print off extra sheets that are not in this book if your child needs to practice something. So I really love that about Learn Math Fast. And when you purchase it, it just takes you to Amazon and it's so easy to get here. It's very, very affordable. And we really enjoy it. I'll show you real quick what it looks like on the inside. Like I said, it is nothing fancy. It is just a simple, here's your lesson, here's your worksheet. There is built-in review and there are tests. So you will have a way to grade your child. And I will show you like the answer keys. I'm trying to balance all this on my legs. Um, there's the answer keys. So it is worked out for you. So there's no question you know, how to work it out. So we love that. Now, there's also something else that we use. I'm gonna drop this in the floor. Sorry for that noise. Um, we also started using this past year because pre-algebra took us, 
I think it took us to about the first week in April and then we were done. He finished it up. He did well on the test. We left with a high B, which I was very happy with. And um, we we're like, we need to do something. I didn't want to just not do any math. And so we just picked up this consumer mathematics. I actually purchased this at McKay's. If you haven't heard me rave about McKay's, it's like a used bookstore, movie, CD store. There's three in Tennessee. Um, we're fairly close to the one in Chattanooga, but they offer tons of used homeschool curriculum. They have a whole aisle that is full of it. And I happened to pick this up there and that was just the book. I did have to go on eBay and purchase the answers. Um, but when you purchase it from Rebecca, it's quite expensive. But I really wanted this because it's just the basics. It's the things that you need to know to survive in this world. And so, so far we have made it through three units. We uh, separated into units. So we did unit one on how to buy a car and all the things about buying a car. We did, we skipped the travel unit. We did unit three, all about income and hourly wages and owning your own business. And that was amazing. We didn't do travel. We just skipped, we did one, three, and then we came back to travel. So we were able to go through these. What I like about it the most is the reading. I mainly got it for the reading and the discussion. The actual work itself is basic math. If your kids can add, subtract, multiply, divide, they understand percentages and decimals, then they've got this. But I loved the reading and the discussion that we had about topics that are so important. He needs to know this stuff. And so it does have like model problems and then it will have problems for them to work out. I just pick a few for him to try. There's also word problems. And then I would use the answer key to check it. So my plan is, as we're doing algebra next year, sometimes that can kind of overload your brain and you just get so tired of doing algebra. And so when his brain needs a break, we'll just go do this for a little bit. So we're really enjoying consumer math. It is from Rebecca, but try to buy it used, okay? So that's what we're using for math. But while I have you here, I wanna tell you something so exciting. I'm a part of a group called Made to Homeschool. I'm sure you've heard about it. It's all over Instagram. It's great. It's a homeschool community made for homeschoolers by homeschoolers. And it's full of people that you probably already recognize. It's gonna have so many amazing things from workshops to resources, everything that's gonna help you be the best homeschooler you can be and also provide you with community. So what I would love for you to do, if you haven't joined the waitlist yet, I'm gonna leave the link down to the, the waitlist in the description box, not down to the wait list. No, I'm going to leave the link to the wait list down in the description box. When you join the wait list, that doesn't obligate you to anything. It just lets you get notified of the things that are happening. The launch date for Made to Homeschool is June the 1st, but you want to be on that wait list. So if you haven't joined it already, definitely go and do that. Thank you so much, Davine and Shauna, for hosting this collaboration. And as always, thank you so much for watching.